Hey church, well it's time for monthly prayer. On the first Wednesday of every month, we gather together as a church from 7 to 7.30 to pray for our church, for our community, and for our nation. I'm here at Cornerstone Christian Academy. You might be hearing some kids in the background in the room across the hall. Um, it's about to be lunch in this room, but I'm, I'm in the aftercare room and in the lunch room. Um, so this, this room kind of does several things. And um, I was talking to the kids this morning in the chapel and I, I said, you know, kids, we've got to be focused. We've got to be focused on our studies and those kind of things, but we also need to be focused on the Lord. And I read this scripture and I want to read it to you in Philippians 4, verse 6 through 8. And it's a very popular verses here, but I want to read this again in the New Living Translation. Actually, I'm just going to read verses 6 and 7. It says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he's done. Then you will experience God's peace which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. See, to stay focused on what God has for us in his kingdom, we have to have our hearts and our minds guarded. In order to stay focused, we have to come against the thoughts that are coming against our mind and we have to think on the things that are lovely as it says in verse 8 and true and those kind of things and virtuous and so when we thank god he for what he's done he guards our minds and our hearts he gives us a peace that we can't even understand we can't even comprehend and we are given that peace so that we can focus on what the lord has for us in his kingdom and I was telling the kids this, of course, brought it down, you know, in, you know, simple for them so that they can understand because they need to focus. They need to focus on the Lord. They don't need to worry. They need to be able to give over things to God, no matter what's going on, what's happening, to have that peace in the Lord, to have that joy because the joy of the Lord is their strength. And so I want us to pray and to pray tonight and to focus on that, to pray for the Cornerstone Christian Academy students, you know, to be focused throughout the rest of the year and for us to be focused, to be focused on God and what he has for us. You know, we're seeing uh, revivals break out in these different places and, and they're crying out to God and they're focused on, on just the Lord. And I want us to do as much as we can to do the same thing, to cry out to the Lord, to be focused on him, to say, God, what do you have for me to do in your kingdom? And we need to be about his business and what he has for us. There's some other prayer um, points that we have there at the bottom for you to pray, you know, for the Cornerstone of Christian Academy students to have strength and to have wisdom in uh, every decision they make and for, you know, for our teachers and for the academy to grow as the Lord sees fit and that we as a church, that we would love one another, that we'd stay focused on what our kingdom mission is. And so let's pray tonight. And there's a couple of more prayer, prayer needs down there as well that you can look at and pray and pray as long as you can. Well, it's five, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, but let's focus on God as a church together during this time from seven to 7.30. And let's, let's, let's touch the Father's heart and allow him to touch ours in a special way. So let's pray. Father, we just thank you. We just praise you for your goodness and your glory. And Lord, we just thank you for your touch. And I thank you that we can focus on you and what you have for us to do in your kingdom. And Lord, <clears throat> that means we've got to put aside all distractions. We've got to put aside worry. And so we just come against all of that and put under the, uh, worry under our feet. We put a, a distractions under our feet. And we say, Lord, that we have that peace. We have your joy. And Lord, that we would just keep our minds focused and we just cast down all distractions. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. All right, church, keep praying. Keep believing, and we'll see you Sunday the same way you're listening now. If, you, if you're listening, you can listen this way at 10 a.m. Of course, we would love to see you at Garfield at 10 a.m. God bless. We'll see you then.